Well, my friends are gone and my hair is gray. I ache in the places where I used to play. He's sold over 100 million records. He's an absolute star and is about to embark on a massive tour of Australia. So, Tom Jones, welcome. Thank you. Now, I know you won't mind me pointing this out. You've been around the traps. Do you ever feel like throwing in the towel, resting on your laurels, just, you know, relaxing? No, 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 because I, I love to sing. You know I mean? I really, really do love to sing. So I would be singing somewhere. It's, it's tremendous. It's, it's, it's like a drug that you don't want to not do. So you're a drug addict, a, a, a sort of... Yes, a singing drug yeah, addict. To be clear, in case yes. anyone gets that wrong. But you <laughs> yeah. do, you're addicted to it. You can't I'm addicted stop to it. yourself. That's right. Now, you're an artist who manages to truly keep things fresh, which isn't mm. really easy. Many in your shoes would be happy to just coast along, just churning out the old hits. Mm-hmm. But you've been on top of contemporary sounds, which is really unusual. Do you listen to a lot of contemporary music? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, but the, 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 the stuff that I'm recording now is... is is um, is not sort of pop pop music, you know. It's, I'm not chasing the charts. I'm I'm doing songs that uh, more like the stuff that I did when I was singing in Wales in pubs and clubs in Wales, um, you know. And and songs that I that I've liked and that I wanted to do, you know. That's why we called the uh, the Long Lost Suitcase. That's why the album is called that because I've pulled a lot of songs out of suitcases that I've saved over the years and. Now I've got a chance to record them. So since I've been recording with Ethan Johns, this is the third album with with him. He's my producer. It's uh, songs that I've wanted to do and songs that I that I still want to do. And I want to do new things. So far, so good. Long Lost Suitcase, your new album. It is a cracker. Like, mm-hmm. I, I really like this album. Thank you. So is this kind of Tom Jones at your most authentic? Yes, I, I think so. On the Long Lost Suitcase, there's all different kinds of songs on there. It's all rootsy. You know, it's all um, American roots music, but it's it's varied. So even though it's a certain kind of music, it's not all all the same. Where did your love of rhythm and blues come from? Because how did you access that? You grew up in Wales in the 50s. Mm. Yeah, well, when um, listening to the radio, I I would hear a blues song um, or, or a gospel song. And that would spark me up more than than what was the, the, the pop songs of the day on the radio. But once in a while, they would play a blues song or a gospel song, Mahalia Jackson, you know, with, mm. with gospel. And so I would inject those songs into my show when I was playing these pubs and clubs in, in Wales. So that's what I started off doing with a rhythm section uh, and you know, pop songs as well. But by that time, by the time I started singing in the clubs and pubs, rock and roll had kicked in, you know, in the 60s. Yeah. I'm sorry, in the 50s. So um, so that was great. You know, if I could do Elvis Presley songs and Jerry Lee Lewis and Little Richard, you know, Fats Domino, Chuck Berry, all those songs. And I love you know. your Elvis Presley song on your new album. Yeah. A brilliant song. Yeah, Elvis Presley Blues. It's it's about Elvis's life. And um, I, I when I heard the song, Gillian Welch, a girl called Gillian Welch wrote it. And I thought, my God, what a great song. You know, that's Elvis's life in three verses. And, uh, and, and I, I'm really pleased with it, with, with it because there's only Ethan Johns is playing guitar on it and I'm singing, there's just two of us on there. So I wanted it to be as, uh, as raw and haunting as possible. And I played it to Priscilla Presley, Did who's you? a friend of mine, yes. And I said, you know, and she said, that's, that's a haunting tribute to, to Elvis, you know. And, and I said, well, I'm, I'm glad you think so, because that's that's the way I meant it. And that is a very good description of that song. Haunting is is hmm. how I heard it too. Is there anyone that you'd still really like to collaborate with? Because you've already already, already recorded and performed with really diverse array of, art, uh, yeah. array of artists. But there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of young singers around now, you know, if... Who's your favourite one? That I like. I, I like... Um, as far as it entertaining and getting up there and doing some, you know, some moves as well as laying it out, there's Bruno Mars. Mm. I think Bruno Mars is is uh, is tremendous because he's he's brought an old style, you know, back. Uh, a lot of young people don't know this because it's fresh the way he does it. Um, but you know, that's a solid uh, performer right there. <laughs> 